a relationship. Uh -oh. They you fall off. That woman ain't interested as you think. Yeah, once you start complaining and dragging your feet. She don't want to hear no complaints. The day you come home and think you could be like, Baby, I was down, I lost it. She like, mm. she gonna be stroke your ego, but she gonna remember oh, that time you you cannot let them see you one time. Mm. Down. The world can't see your head down one time. Ever. So I, I'd tell people. I want up. you both to know that they you can. No. Like, and I, I know that you've experienced. Cannot. I don't want to get to like Dr. Phil sh right now. <clears throat> no, but you I don't think, think you've ever had someone that you really could trust and really open up. Now, if you want to keep it, now if you want to give somebody else all the time, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying, if you want to, if you want a bad, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just being real. No, I guess. Just open up to a woman. Yeah. Never. No. Never. When's the last time you think you've opened up to a woman? We don't. In your whole life, bro. I'm telling you, we got players like like I, I could. Me and him related. Yeah. It's our first time meeting, yeah, but I, I can did, tell you guys, yeah, there's no, some connection here. Oh, no. And yeah. they're going to tell you you can. Because you know why? But it's a trap. Because you know why? I'm trapped. No, no. Like no, I'm, I'm going to tell you why. Because <laughs> once you do, whenever something goes down, they're going to throw it back in your face. Well, that's, I've had that's that. why. That's why. So you can't ever. That's why you cry because your dad yeah, yeah, left yeah. you. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so what what you think about what Country Wayne and Shaq said about women? Mm. Oh, boy. Mm. <laughs> Everybody hit it. I'll go first. Okay, I, I was going to say, I can. I, 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 I can so, say something. Well, listen, there, there's some things. There's some, there's some, I think there's some truth to some of this. But I think, again, you have to apply. You have to apply the Lord over everything, right? These two men are now single, right? One is has multiple baby mamas and is not kids. married, right? Um, and a, yes, and, and a multitude of children. Um, <laughs> another, and another man who is He's following the who word is divorced of divorced <laughs> and has 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 willfully admitted, you know what that means, right? And so to him and, and his regrets about how he handled his marriage and his wife, etc., right? And so a lot of men here are married. I, you know, I. I am no longer married, which is something some of you know, some of you don't, mm. right? And I know what that's like in mm. the sense of like sharing and that coming back. But I think that's it's part of it's part of marriage sometimes, mm. right? You're being vulnerable with somebody who literally can kill you. And I say that to say you sleep with somebody, right? We know when 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 crime happens, murders happen. Who do they go to? They go to the spouse, mm. right? Yeah. You're close, and so. <laughs> All that to say, not to go dark down the dark side here, but I'm saying that I think that there is, there is, women are not designed to carry certain things. And I had to, I realized that late. And I think we can't go to our wives with everything because what happens is we unload, we're good, and then they toss and turn all night and wake up like, I didn't sleep, I'm blah, blah. And you're like, wow, I slept great. Because <laughs> right? mm. we, we, women are the help, right? but they are the help, your wife or spouse is the help you need. So sometimes you need to know when you need to share with her or do you need to find a brother to unload yeah, on, yeah. right? Because they are not designed to carry certain things because they worry and they have, they just deal with things differently. And so my suggestion to men is really to think about you need brothers in your life. Yeah. You need mm -hmm. brothers you can share. And honestly, women, this is one of the biggest issues we have in terms of marriage and relationships is because we don't understand each other and we don't see each other as different. And women tend to not see that, you know, how we mm. relate, whether it's sexually or, or emotionally, we relate differently, right? And this could go a whole lot deeper and a whole lot whatever. But at the end <laughs> of the day, you know, intimacy is how women relate and we're just physical. And that physical has to be taken over by the Lord, right? Mm. Because this is how you get cheating men and a woman says, how he doesn't love me, how did he cheat? And you're like, he wasn't thinking, cause he really wasn't. Your blood literally rushes from your head to wherever the situation, the situation, and you're not thinking. And men mm. get in these situations, they, this is a whole, I'm going down a rabbit hole, I'm sorry. Mm. So the point is, I'm just saying that be careful to understand that your wife or you know i say this to wives because i think this is very specific husbands and wives you need to be careful about how you share because of how women are designed mm. right and how you as a man need to understand your wife is your help but she has to be the help you need mm. and you have to recognize when you need her help and when you need help from someone else so are you are you specifically talking about 
you're facing all these challenges in the world you're chasing your dream you're mm -hmm. dealing with this and that mm -hmm. big obstacles come your way mm -hmm. and you're like i want to share that with my wife that this huge obstacle is coming mm -hmm. our way and what that may be communicating to her is we're in trouble this is going to go bad for our family when it's like to you it's like no it's just an obstacle i'm gonna deal with it mm -hmm. yeah it could be that it could be something else it could be a a, a flaw mm -hmm. right you shared okay. you okay. shared something that you thought hey i'm something i realize i'm working on mm -hmm. and it's really you know it really hit me and you know i realized my dad did xyz oh babe i understand later down the line that may come you just like your daddy you even mm -hmm. told me right how many of us have not heard this where things are weaponized and even <laughs> even our even the things we desire are weaponized you understand like you if you talk to uh, tend to talk to females and there's a female here who could say yes or no when there's you know a woman who's here but you, you if you say uh something right and you might be that's just how men are it may just you may get the reaction yeah that's exactly how men are mm -hmm. and that that undertone of why men are that way is not is not humanized yes men are that way women are a certain way and we don't tend to demonize those things about women mm -hmm. right and we don't tend to attack those things about women and the way that the world is designed is it's destroying marriages is destroying families it's destroying that they said it, the statistic i saw was 45 percent of black women by 2030 will be single and childless mm -hmm. this is not this is the enemy's design because of the structure and the way things are happening right and so it's important and i you know i don't want to monopolize because i could go on about that in, in a way where you know so something. can i ask this question if a man is submitted to god right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. fully submitted to god <laughs> and then his household is submitted to god mm -hmm. his wife is submitted to him mm -hmm. do you think that that still has the the trick of the enemy yes all i mean over it? i can say that i'm a man of god and my marriage still didn't work but here's the thing that i will say mm -hmm. If if I if I not about her if I was stewarding the way I was supposed to, mm -hmm. then would would I be divorced? I don't think so, mm. right? And I'm not talking about there wasn't cheating, there wasn't you know what I mean. It's not about that, but it's like you understand that there's a way to steward. And when the enemy wants to attack your family, he finds a way in. If yeah. you miss it, you miss it. Yeah, wow. right. And so I have to hold that as a responsibility and hold it can be accountable That's to real. myself That's yeah. real. for yeah. that, right? Yeah. And so understanding, let me just say this, submission is a very ugly word, that mm -hmm. S word, but let me explain something really quick that I hope mm -hmm. people get. Women don't like it, but I, often it's not preached in the church. The scripture first says, there's a scripture, submit one to another, right? right? So we always leave that out. But here's the thing, there's order in the kingdom. And so because of order, and some people can see my hands, there's order in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So what that means is submission is for disagreement. How can two walk together unless they agree? Mm -hmm. Submission is for disagreement. So when the husband and wife are talking, hey, babe, blah, 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 blah. You know what, babe? I don't know about that. You know what? I hear you. We prayed about it. Sweetheart, this is what I'm doing. Submission now says, okay, this is what you're doing. I don't like it, right? Mm -hmm. I trust God. I trust you. I'm gonna pray about it. Well, I just trust God, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna leave it on Him, and it's on you. Yeah. But I'm gonna submit and, and walk through this process and pray through this process with you. And the, the idea is that I trust God enough to know even if He makes a mistake, I'll be covered, mm -hmm. right? Now, here's your example for that. Jesus Christ in the Garden of Gethsemane. Lord, I don't know about this cross. I don't think it's a good idea, right? Yeah. But not my will be done, your will be done. That's yeah. what marriage is supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. And what I see in a lot of marriages is, oh, I don't think, he don't know what he's talking about, girl. I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. This is, it, and I'm going to be silent from the rest of that. <laughs> but this is what's happening. Mm. Okay. And that goes back <laughs> to the scripture that we were talking about when it says, <laughs> in, the, in Genesis, when it talks about the curse, it talks about, Women having pain during childbirth, oh, and then it says mm -hmm. women gonna want to assert authority over the husband, but they're gonna be submitted to the husband. Now, that doesn't mean a woman is subservient. That doesn't mean she's unintelligent. She's incapable of thinking and moving and doing the thing that she needs to do. But like he said, there's a certain order that has to happen. Now, what needs to happen is the man needs to be first submitted to God in order for mm -hmm. her to respect right. you enough to want to listen to mm -hmm. what you're saying in the first place. Mm -hmm. So when I listen to what they're saying here. 
I think what happens is, for one, have you had the conduct of a godly man to where she feel like you are worth being respected? Because part of that thing that's said in Genesis, if you're not submitted to God and she just submitted to you alone as a man, mm -hmm. you're flawed, incapable of really leading correctly without God. Of course, she's going to question. Of course, she's going to cut because nine times out of ten, you've hurt this woman and she wants you to feel the way she's felt. In that moment, she's moving in her emotions, so she wants to kind of give you a, a taste of what she's felt. I feel like in a healthy situation, to a certain degree, I have seen situations where guys have shared things with women, and they were kind of vindictive, and they have did, did things that cut deep. I don't. I wouldn't make a broad generalization and say every woman is like that, because I've dealt with some women who were real, like you know what I'm saying, who mm -hmm. they they had some stuff. They you know what I'm saying, they kept it, you know what I'm saying, and vice versa, you know what I'm saying. So I wouldn't make a broad generalization, but I just think the key is what you were just saying right there is. Where is that man? How is he leading? Is there a respect there for this man? If a woman respects you and you mm -hmm. carry yourself a certain kind of way, I think she's more likely not to approach you that kind of way because you're worthy of respect. But if you just got flawed character just through and through and through, yeah. she probably yeah. just tired of your behind. And she's just like, you know what? That's why when you were little, your daddy did this. You know what I'm and she might, and she might, and it ain't right. It ain't right. <laughs> it's not right at all. But it's like this woman has been hurt. She has, she has been damaged. So now... Now a hurt person Out is hurting another hurt person, yeah, and that's right. not how it should be. Yeah. But I just think as a man, as a leader of your household, mm -hmm. I think to prevent these kind of things from happening, you have to really just be a stand-up guy submitted to God. And you have a better chance. That it's not going to say 100% it won't happen, but it's a better chance that it not happen if you're the man of God you're supposed to be. Here's, here's what right. I say. I just got to really just be something, yeah. say something that I got to clarify mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. I get that. But what does God say? If a man who does not believe, mm -hmm. right, if his if his wife believes she, he's cov she's covered he's he, she's covering him, mm -hmm. so I think sometimes we relegate to our leadership and our abilities, mm -hmm. and what we have to do, but even a fool should be covered by his believing wife. So I I want to challenge the notion mm -hmm. that we as people not saying that we shouldn't be accountable we should not be right, but I do want to challenge the notion that our actions should make women line up. Because the mm -hmm. word is telling you mm -hmm. that even you married a fool, mm -hmm. you should be submitting to that fool because you know me. Yeah. And here's the, and I'm gonna I'm throw, I'm gonna throw God into it so you understand. Mm -hmm. Whenever we talk about repentance, because we look at repentance as action too. Mm -hmm. Oh, turn from your ways. Repentance is a heart. It is a heart, heart posture. Heart posture. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know why? You know how we know it's a heart posture? Because yeah. on the cross there was a dude who said, "Oh man, what he do?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you coming with me in heaven? Did he get off the cross? Did he do anything different? Did he have some better actions? No. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so we gotta understand because we as men has been forced into a place of trying to lead and be perfect, mm -hmm. and I want to eliminate that. Mm -hmm. I don't Amen. want that spirit of us being burdened because I was burdened with that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not doing. I'm not doing stuff right. I'm not. Sometimes yeah. the enemy wants you to mm -hmm. sift you. Mm -hmm. He wants to sift <laughs> all you. the time, actually. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. But he's he's going to and forth, looking, looking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Right. And it's a way in. So I'm just telling you, if you decide not to submit, you mm -hmm. still have to talk to God mm -hmm. about okay. that because you you going to heaven by yourself, mm -hmm. not with your husband. Right, let me, let me right. see yeah, I was I want to clear what I said real quick. Yeah. So when I'm saying like I'm not saying that you got to be perfect, but without being perfect, you still got to be worthy of respect. It ought to be a consistency in your mm -hmm. character to the point where, you know what I say, you know what, God, feel, I feel like God telling us to do this right here. Mm -hmm. And if I say that and I miss the mark, but she knows I'm fully submitted to God, and I'm like, man, I missed the mark on this one, baby. I, I thought God told us to do that. It didn't work out the way I thought it would. Forgive me for that. She's less likely to want to cut me because I've shown the consistency of good character. Yeah. If I'm out here doing the most, you know, so I'm out here swerving and cheating and jugging and doing all this kind of stuff, she's looking like... <laughs> Here you go again. You know what I'm saying? It's more likely for her to be like, man, this Negro here, man. What the, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and it's like you saying, you chose to marry this guy and and you judge the tree by the fruit it bears. Like, I'm pretty sure he didn't just be in, he didn't just start being crazy after y'all got married. Like, but you probably thought you could change him. You probably thought you mm -hmm. could love him through it. You know, so you got to take accountability on that too. So, you have to submit to that, but I'm just saying it's more likely that you're mm -hmm. going to get a, a quality of, um, a better quality relationship if you yourself are consistent and worthy of respect. Shania, what, how does this land on you? What, do, what, what, what are you hearing? Okay, got a lot of thoughts. All right. So, as far as submission, in my personal walk with the Lord, I realized that both submission and maturity has levels to it. And sometimes we may think, oh, I am 100% I am submitted. You're at 60. Mm. Mm. You're at 80. 
your submission level to God, the best way to, to understand where you are is to ask him yourself mm. and to seek him. Because when he tells you something, are you having delayed obedience, half obedience? You know, mm -hmm. so that's the thing I'll say, too. Also, when it comes to I see as far as submitting to a man, I'm submitted to you as you are submitted to Christ. So there's not blind submission. And I do agree the Bible does say that a woman needs to cover her husband, an uh, un, uh, unbelieving spouse and stuff like that. But she is submitted unto God. So if you are not following God, I am not required to just blindly follow whatever you say. I'm following God. So in that submission stance submission is also a very active word like love is an active word so it's not just me being quiet i'm going to my prayer room i'm going to pray about it so it's not just me saying okay babe whatever you say no i'm contending with the lord as you should be lord what should we do let's not get up from this prayer room or make a decision until god makes it clear he makes it plain on what we should do mm -hmm. and like he said with that consistency that you're showing me that you're following the lord of course it's it's not a making your wife line up i'm gonna naturally line up mm -hmm. because so, mm -hmm. I like that. I got I got a question for you. What when when you hear them say, mm -hmm. and and the idea may be that men are afraid to share exactly what they're dealing with with their wives or okay. their girls or whatever, mm -hmm. because it's going to come back to them later. Mm -hmm. How do you respond to that? Does that does that make any sense? Does it does it? Oh no, it makes it makes perfect sense. We live in a sinful world. You got to start that way. We live in a sinful world. But when it comes to relationship, I think toxic masculinity is a thing. I think men um, were taught to embody it and women were taught to receive that. And I think there's grace on both sides of it. Um, but like he said, I agree with the community. Like we have to have such a level of intimacy with the Lord, which is what God is teaching me in this um, season that I'm in. I'm your best friend. You come to me first, share everything with me. I will give you the wisdom on what to share and whom to share it with. Mm -hmm. And that goes back to that level of intimacy and submission. He said there's always deeper that you can go. There's always more that you can go. But I do agree that with married couples, mm -hmm. you should have that community to where you got a group chat. Because a lot of my married fans got group chats. They meet with their spouses. They talk to their spouses. They meet with other couples. They have these conversations. You're not in it alone. Community is necessary. Mm -hmm. um, so like I said, uh, as about the toxic masculinity thing, yeah, people do throw it back. And as a woman, I've been on the receiving end of that as well. So I think it's a people thing, not just a woman doing it, not just a man doing it. Yeah. People do it to each other. Well, like, I'm, 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 okay, I'm, let me just because I, I want to ask you something too. Mm -hmm. So as far as them going through this um, situation of uh, the type of girls that they're dealing with, I can't really, I can't really say too much about that because you I gotta realize they're in the world and the type of women they're 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 broken still, right? Mm -hmm. A majority of these women probably don't know mm -hmm. who Christ is. I can't mm -hmm. speak for every woman, but I can speak from you know knowing these who these people are growing up with these people that I realize that a lot of women I've seen them would have been kind of broken and stuff, right? Yeah. Now my question to to but really both y'all was gonna be this. So I know you all were talking about submissions. Do you feel like? That because you said something about you have to gain respect to be submitted, right? Is that kind of what you're saying? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like that it kind of starts from how you all started your relationship based off how she submits and how she respects you and how it all mm -hmm. started? Mm -hmm. I, absolutely, I mm -hmm. think you should be setting the tone as a godly man for out the gate, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? She should see you as a godly man first before she even considers wanting to date you in yeah. the first place, mm -hmm. and then your, your character should be consistent throughout that dating, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you may have issues, I'm not saying anybody who's ever had sex before they got married, you disqualify. You're not worried I'm just saying But like It's a thing where you should be like Okay I can look at this man And tell like I can see the fruit of his life I can tell he's He's really focused on Christ For real mm -hmm. Good bad or ugly He's always Christ forward I think she'd be able to see that And I think When she sees that It builds a level of trust In a woman saying I know if, mm -hmm. if he don't do nothing else He gonna go to God so she's not necessarily left just to trust you. Mm. She's trusting the God in you. Exactly. Because if you want a woman just to trust you and your own, think about what your thoughts are as a man. We all men. Think about our thoughts on a daily basis. Yeah. Anything that walked by. Any, you know what I'm saying? If you just left to your own devices without the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. as a man, yeah. you're inconsistent. You're probably going to be lazy. Yeah. You're probably not going to be able to, you know what I'm saying, do the things you need to do in order for a woman to be satisfied. Right. But <laughs> if you're being the man that God calls you to be, he's going to put those attributes in you as a man that she's going to find attractive and want to submit to mm -hmm. on her own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Without me having to say, "Hey, get over here," or else that ain't gonna work. Yeah, mm -hmm. this this don't make y'all sad. I, I, it this, does. This it, conversation is making me real sad. Like I, I want to be able to tell my wife how I'm feeling, but mm -hmm. I think the warning you gave 
is making me wonder like am okay and i want to hear what you think and yeah. you guys think too mm-hmm. are we putting too much on our wife when we just blurt out everything mm-hmm. and I, or am i causing my wife to worry about things that she shouldn't because i want to be able to be like hey babe like this is what's going on mm-hmm. is is that wrong is that like no i think it's i think it's um I think it's the noble thing, right? For me, at least. You know, I'll say this. My wife is my first relationship. We've been married for 13 years, and I think it's going great. And I hope she would say the same. And, you know, we have four kids now, and so our whole dynamic of marriage has shifted from when we first, you know, got together, got engaged, and talked about this is a forever thing, and then, you know, uh, we're going to show the world how great this is. And so, for me, I feel like... um, me not being vulnerable, me not telling her those things would be more of a shock to her when I fall apart, when I melt down. You know what I'm saying? Like if I if I if I melt and I go through some things and I'm like she's like all of a sudden, why is this dude sitting on the bed crying? What's going on? She already knows, okay, this might be weighing heavy on him today. You know what I mean? So are you guys are you guys ever afraid to be that honest? Mm. Are you ever afraid? Um, you can be. I think. I think you can be. Um, at times, you could. You could feel that way. Like, man, this, this. If I tell my wife this, this could be devastating, or this could be hurtful, or whatever. Um, because at the same time, you're still the head of the house, so you gotta figure out the balance of what you want to say. Um, but I, I'm not talking about anything that can like harm you. You know what I'm saying? If you, yeah. if you, I'm not talking about like cheating or anything of that nature. I'm talking about stuff that you know you don't want your wife to worry about but at the same time you need to share that with somebody yeah. that's my that's point you yeah. need, you need you to, have to have a brother that yeah. she can go to yeah. 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 you yeah. can't yeah. give her everything yeah. 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 she's yeah. not designed to carry everything yeah. 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 And, she's just not and I yeah. think the thing is for some for some women it's like I want I want to know everything. I want to know what my husband is doing. I want to know but if you told her mm-hmm. extremely everything that you're dealing with yeah. it could be like she could look at you in a way going back to their conversation she could go to a way where she may feel more like not bringing it back up but feel like overwhelmed herself mm-hmm. may feel overwhelmed like different things yeah. but at the same time it's something where you got to go two things you got to go to the lord and say god um i can i could take this to uh my my friends or people i'm my mentor or my or my person that's discipling me um or do you want me to tell her? Because I know if I tell her, like, hey, I stepped out and used this on our business and it didn't go nowhere and we just lost a lot of money. How do I tell her that mm. m- me stepping out using financials and out of our joint account may affect Well, that our, affects our, her. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I think what they're talking about is more so things like that may not affect. Like um, so-and-so said something to me and it, it made me... Uh, upset today if I go and share that with her is she going to use that against me later you see what but, I'm saying but stuff like mm-hmm. that that's when I would call a friend hey man you, you, you what's the name says such and such about me I didn't really like it but what do you think bro I, I, it really hit yeah. me you know yeah. what I'm saying because if I tell her if I tell her something <laughs> like that she may feel the total opposite she may be like I don't think she would use it. I'm, I'm thinking about my wife. I don't think she would use it. She may just ask me some questions, but at the same time, I feel like, I think, uh, to me, honestly, every man in here knows the maturity level of their wife mm-hmm. or, your, or, or your spouse or who you with. So if you know the maturity level, if you know if I tell her what you just said, she can handle it, then, I, then tell her. But if you know she can't, I would say, at least have somebody on the side that you can go to and and, and speak. What, what this reminds on. me of, and what's crazy, we talked about youth ministry. The the verse, the the uh, lesson that we just gave recently is, you know, the give your worries and concerns to the Lord. Yeah. You know, yeah. He, yeah. he his burden is light, right? So it makes me wonder the stuff that I may want to dump on my wife, like I'm feeling sad today, or I'm I'm insecure, or, you know, things like that, right? Um. That's the kind of stuff that Jesus is saying. I want you to tell me about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the one designed for that yeah. kind of stuff. So it, it, maybe it's just a warning of no human on this earth can handle any of your nonsense in totality, right? right? right. Yeah, uh, you, my, my brother Ryan, my brother mm-hmm. uh, Jeremiah, they can handle some of it. My yeah. wife can handle some of it. Yeah. But Jesus is the only one that can handle every mm-hmm. single yeah. secret 
That's real. burden that you have in your life. Yeah. And there is maybe some warning to it. The only thing is with them, I don't yeah. think that's their problem. Yeah, you know I saying? think it's a... Uh, I feel like it's a character thing too, because like you said, when we first started, these the men that are speaking, we have to we have to remember that. And like he said, this is women of the world too, so I think that plays a big part as well. They talk, they're talking more about flaws and weaknesses. If they be like, yeah, I don't feel like I'm able to do so and so, or I'm not good at this, this and that, they feel like that kind of stuff. Because it's like they're like, I want you to talk to me. It's cool. And they feel like you come in later on. Yeah, I knew you were weak in this anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> that's that's, that's a character but, thing but, too. But, yeah, yeah that, it is. But, but that goes back to who are you dating? Yes. Who, 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 what, what woman are you talking to that you know when you talk to her, you're going to get an immature response to bring it back See, to I, you? See, I think that's the problem, I think, though. I think that when we look at people and we try to relegate them to a situation, a circumstance, I always used to tell people when they're in the world, what is it, 48 Laws of Power? Yeah, people yeah. read this stuff yeah. Yeah. I'm, and I talk about it in the context of marriage. I'm like, you can read that. You can read whatever. It's the 49th law you won't be ready for. We don't, mm. it's the thing you don't see coming. Mm. That, that, whatever they're talking about inside of that is the thing they didn't see coming that I share with you. Mm. I don't want to put it on one side or another. Mm. There's things that we just don't see coming. And I come to you and I say, babe, X, Y, Z. And then you turn around and you use that for whatever reason, yeah. right? It's, it's Jesus has to be applied to it all, mm. right? The flesh is our flesh. These women, he said, I was, I remember when I watched it, it was like, I was down to my last 20,000. And I was like, I couldn't say so to somebody else, they'd be like, to, you down to 20 bands? Now you still up. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. To another person, you can't. And I know what that feels like, right? Mm -hmm. And especially after the wars, right? It's like, wait a minute, right? And so you have to understand, like, I think we just have to, I didn't answer your question. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to answer it all the way or whatever. Because, yeah. the, but the bottom line is, with me, we started. It was very much a godly relationship. This woman is a woman of God. I, I trust and believe that, right? And I, I feel like, again, there were mistakes made, and I know that some of those mistakes contributed to what came down the line, right? But when you with somebody almost 20 years, you know what I mean? Certain things you just don't see coming. Mm. And I tell people, and that this one thing I say to you guys, right? We live unfairly as men because it's how we need to live my pastor i remember he said that I, I pulled out the rings and he was like he said look at your ring it's pretty plain you know it's a Dang. gold it's gold right <laughs> yeah and blah 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 he said here's your wife she has a, a diamond with diamonds band all around it and she's got this other one with diamonds around and a big thing diamond on the top yeah. he was like and you bought all three get ready get get used to not fair mm. Wow. This is this is this is how you live as a man wow. for marriage. You have to do things. You have to sacrifice things. You have to come in with a smile on your face, show love, be gentle, be kind, right? And when you make those mistakes, sometimes they weigh on you and you know it hurts your partner. You're like, oh, my tone wasn't right. Now the whole house is messed up. Mm. You know what I mean? These are things we got to start looking at, right? We're not teaching people how to be married. People get married for the day. Mm -hmm. That's why it's like, oh, I want to get married. I want right. to get married. Yeah. And it's all about the wedding. That's you got to do life together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Life has ups and downs yeah. and things you don't see coming. Right. Somebody right. dies that you didn't expect. Yeah. Somebody gets sick you didn't expect. Mm -hmm. You lose a job. You lose another job. Your business fails. Mm -hmm. you, you make an investment. Mm -hmm. who's, who's sticking by your side when those mistakes happen? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's different. Yeah, wow, that's facts. Well, we always get to that point, man, in these conversations <laughs> where we get super real, and I, I love it, man. I, I hope, yeah. hopefully, it, 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 um, it helps to hear people mm -hmm. are honest on our show. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's valuable. It's valuable yeah, to me. Absolutely.